Hi, I'm Greg Merck, and I want to thank you for taking the time to join us today for this live demo. I hope you find the session informative and well worth your time. Back in March, our number one priority was to ensure our employees' safety while also committing to help our customers and partners however we could. These past few months, well, they haven't been easy on any of us, but we remain deeply committed and connected to our customers and communities, which is the theme of our show this year. In short, we're here for you. I'm proud of what our team has assembled at this year's virtual event. I can't wait to share with you about our best-in-class packaging technologies. Our Pro Blue Flex Melter, released at last year's Pack Expo show in Las Vegas, has truly caused a splash and revolutionized the industry. I encourage you to learn more about our IoT-enabling BBCon controls, which allow our equipment to easily communicate with parent machines and other devices. I also encourage you to learn more information on new ways Norton can help you save on overall operating costs and other technology advancements from Norton. Our team is here to assist you within the chat feature through Pack Expo Connects, or you can always reach us online at nordsonadhesives.com. Who's ready to learn about Nordson? Right about now, just sit back and enjoy the presentation. Once again, thank you. And I hope you and your families continue to remain safe. I look forward to seeing each of you face to face at next year's event. Hi, my name is Dan Thompson. I'm product line manager for Nordson Corporation. Today I'm going to talk about parent machine integration starter kits and how they help a PLC engineer integrate a Nordson Pro Blue Flex Melter as quickly as possible into a PLC system. So what is parent machine integration? That's integrating a melter or another device onto a PLC on the parent machine for more efficient operation. And why is it good? Well, it gives a single user interface for the operator which is more intuitive and more user friendly. It makes them more efficient. Also, machine designers get more flexibility in the parent machine design because the operator needs to touch the melter less often, so they have more freedom about where to place it. Also, there's a greatly increased control capability compared to traditional discrete I.O. Then there is the Internet of Things or Industry 4.0. Parent machine integration enables the PLC to gather data from the melter so that it can be stored and analyzed for help in meeting continuous improvement goals. So now we come to the ProBlueFlex PMI starter kit for Allen Bradley PLCs. It uses an AOI along with some additional runs of ladder logic to create a complete PLC communications solution for the ProBlueFlex melter. The PLC programmer only needs to import the AOI and ladder logic into their project to get the full benefit of PLC communications with the ProBlueFlex. First we're going to set up a project for our Allen Bradley PLC and we're going to name it. And now it's time for us to configure our hardware. So we'll go to the I.O. configuration part of the tree on the left. We see our 1756 backplane. And we're going to set that up in our project. We're going to give it a name. And then we're going to give it an IP address. And now we're going to configure the hardware for the melter. We're going to look up our generic device, which is the melter. We're going to give it a name. And then an IP address. And then we're going to set up the assembly instances with their size. And that's it for the hardware configuration. Now we're going to import our AOI. Using a file dialog box, we're going to go to our AOI and we're going to load it in. Be sure to use an import and not a copy-paste. And now we're going to load a routine 
that is going to be our ladder logic into our main program. We use our file dialog again. And now the ProBlueFlex is part of the main program. And now we're going to set up a JSR inside the main program to jump to our Melter ProBlueFlex routine. And now we're going to set up our read and write areas. They're pre-configured, so really what we have to do is just check to make sure that they're named the same as what we named in our, our um, I.O. configuration at, earlier in the process. Once we've confirmed that, then we're set up. And that's really it. Now it's time to download the program into the PLC. We're ready to run. And now we can see the tags that we've loaded in with our AOI. Tags are all intuitively named to allow the programmer to understand very quickly and easily what they're for and how to use them in his program. Tags for enabling and disabling zones, for actual temperatures, for set points. All the data required on the melter is there. And now we're going to look at the HMI. Nordson provides a sample HMI with the PMI starter kit to help the programmer get their machine up and running as quickly as possible. All of the data is represented on this sample HMI. It is, of course, something that the PLC programmer can edit on their own. As you can see, all set points, all actual temperatures are available. And here we have all of the heated zones enabled, but they can be disabled with the click of a button because the HMI comes with the tags already connected to the HMI elements. And you can see the feedback happening. So here we have an integrated melter using the Nordson PMI starter kits. And as always, Nordson is there for you offering worldwide service and support that is second to none, whether it be for your parent machine integration needs or your, for your packaging and hot melt needs. And that's it. We have similar PMI starter kits for Siemens and other PLC systems. Feel free to check them out on our BBCon Cloud website. I'm Dan Thompson. That's dan.thompson at nordson.com. Thank you for watching.